Okay, how the heck do you know what size weights to take in Pilates class? First things first, when you get to the studio, the teacher will let you know what we're doing that day. They're gonna say to you, it's a light day, a medium day, medium heavy, or if you're in hot and heavy, it'll be a heavy day. So what do each of those designators mean and where are the limiters? Number one, light day means just that, it's light weights. And we're doing this on purpose so you can have control in your body and maximize the exercises we're doing. Some examples of exercises we'll do on a light, light day is a front shoulder raise, a lateral raise, or something funky like a palms up triceps extension. And so when it's a light day, the teacher has planned a great class. So you're gonna get an incredible workout if you choose light weights. If you choose medium weights on a light day, you're either gonna hurt yourself or you're gonna end up putting your weights down for most of the class. So what's the range for light weights? Three to 10 pounds. Me, Sarah? Even me? Yes, you. There's not a dude that practices at this studio that should be going over 10 pounds on a light day. The second day weight level is medium, and this really depends on you. Medium weights for you that you can do a whole biceps class might be something like a 5 or an 8. It might even be something up to like a 12, a 15, or maybe a 20. But I'll tell you guys one secret. Even Lunny doesn't usually take 20s on medium days. She's hitting 15s or 12s, depending on what she's been doing for a workout. Even if you can curl more than this weight, remember that this class is different than working out at a gym. You're not gonna do three sets of 10 reps. We're gonna do repetition over and over and over, max reps in 30 seconds or more, so that you can really, really just get the most out of your workout. So don't ever be afraid if in the beginning it feels like this is something that's easy for you to curl. I promise it will get more challenging. Here's an example. Lunny planned an amazing medium weight class for us the other day, and the first exercise in the the giant set was a deadlift. Now deadlift is something you can probably go medium heavy to heavy, but the deadlift was intended in that giant set to be our rest. So what happened to students who picked weights that were suitable for deadlifts was after the deadlift, they had to put their weights down and then do the rest of the exercise with no weights in their hands. So rest assured, your teachers have planned you an amazing class. And even if this doesn't feel like the maximum weight you can lift for this particular exercise, that's not where we're at. We're not doing one rep maxes in here, right? We're not necessarily doing drop sets. We're doing a full body work workout. So tune in. What are medium weights? Depending on your level of fitness and strength, it's going to be somewhere between like eight pounds and maybe 20 might be pushing the edge depending on what we're doing. The other thing you want to pay attention to when you ask your teacher is what is the limiter? If it's an overhead day and you've got tender shoulders, then we might be going medium and you might be going light. You might need lighter weights or even just a band depending on your body. And if you have questions, ask at the front desk. Now, some days we might go medium heavy. That's usually when we're doing things like deadlifts or we're doing a lot of rowing and pulling exercises for the back that don't involve back flies. And that's a weight that you can challenge yourself to jump up one or two weights above what you would normally do for a biceps day. So feel free to give yourself the opportunity to challenge yourself in a, in a class that's a medium heavy class. Never in the Inferno Hot Pilates Plus classes are you gonna use the type of heavy weights that you use in hot and heavy. Now tune in with Lunny and she'll let you know if you need a 30 or a 40 pound weight for a hot and heavy class, but if you're getting the sensation that you need 30s in a regular IHP Plus class, that's a good sign that you may be looking to go beyond what your body is capable of. And here's the last thing to think about. Can you do these exercises with good form? And let me show you. I'll take a pair of 15s. So if you can curl with 15s the whole entire time with a strong braced core bending at the elbow, awesome. But for you to get the weight up to your shoulder, if you have to bend backward to get the weight up or swing the weight, you're trying to make your lower back be a biceps, and I'll tell you a secret, your lower back is not a biceps, and it will only tolerate you treating it like that for a few years before you end up with something like chronic pain. So in the, in the essence of getting the most out of your workout and treating your body well and preparing it for, to be able to be used for longevity, then go ahead and tune in to those weights. It's never a bad thing for you to go down a weight and do better form. That's what we're looking for.